Hello everyone, Microsoft has already released a stable version of Windows 11 and many of you are currently using it right now. Many of us are very concerned about the context menu of Windows 11 like this. Uh, if we click on the right button from our mouse, then we get this menu, which is called the context menu. And if we want to get the full context menu, then we need to click here, show more options. Uh, but we can do that by using the shortcut key mentioned here, which is shift and function 10 key, right? But it may be uh, pretty time consuming for many of us uh, such that we wanted a full context menu, then we need to do here or uh, by using the shortcut command. But there's a simple trick that you can uh, get back the previous context menu, which we are using from the Windows 10, like this full context menu. Uh, there's two simple tricks for getting that. Uh, one of them is by using the CMD command prompt, and the other one is uh, tweaking some registry okay, from a registry editor. But I prefer the first one, which I have mentioned earlier, and that is CMD or command prompt. So I'm going to show you the whole process in this video. Follow this process carefully and do everything accordingly. OK, so first of all, I'm going to open my CMD and I will open it using run as administrator. OK. After getting the CMD, what you need to do, you need to copy and paste the exact command I'm using in this video. But don't worry, I will uh, provide the whole command in the description box. OK, so I'm simply pasting my command here. And after pressing on Enter, it shows that the operation completed successfully. Now, am I getting the full context menu right now? Of course not. First of all, I need to restart my PC. So I'm coming back to you after restarting my PC. And I'm going to show you the result also. So after restarting my PC, if I use the simple right button key from my mouse, then I'm getting the full context menu here, right? Now, if you want to roll back to the previous context menu option, then that's also possible. What you need to do, you simply need to copy a command and paste it in the CMD. But don't forget that you have to open the CMD by using the administrator access. And for the command, I will also provide the whole command in the description box. So thank you, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also please do like and share with your friends. Thank you.